glory does not serve man. Glory serves generation. And I can tell you there are many times, man of God, I want to answer, and women, woman of God, I want to answer your question. You can be here, you're carrying the spirit of healing. Eh? You have come from a ministry, a concert, or whatever you want to call it. Men have walked from the wheelchair, and then when you come, the headache is killing you. Nothing God gives you has you for service. Remember that. Nothing God will give you serves you. Nothing. How you know? Let me now tell you today how you know the job is of God. Can I give you a secret? Now I can hear, the, I can hear Satan. I can hear his voice. He's already angry. Because we are giving you knowledge. <laughs> how you know it is of God? It cannot serve you. How you know it is of Satan? It will serve you. I've given you remember that until you leave this earth it's the easiest way whatever you receive if you receive a girlfriend take a book write God Satan this makes me feel good this makes me that's Satan <laughs> my generation is changed my generation knows God that's now God <laughs> Balani vela skito bramina iko pendeles varunia ika paladosa. So how you know a ministry is born of God? Man of God, write the paper. Me, I always write it, and then I begin to. Why am I asking for that speaker? Why am I asking for that camera? For generations. And if it does not pass that. It doesn't matter how big it is. If it serves you, it was not of God. I hope you know the great Elisha. Whose bones a person slept on. Did, have you read your Bible? And then he rose. Huh? He, he died of a flu. <laughs> Those bones were in him. They, these bones raised a man and he, these bones could not raise him. The anointing because anointing is not for self. Anointing is for others. So God will never anoint you. That's why even your prayer, he won't answer them because he still sees self in that prayer. He still sees you as the, as the, as the harvest. He's still your car. Is still your house. When we had nothing, we had visitors. When now we have, eh? my house is not a house. As pastor, I don't have a house. I have a second church. Because in that house, you will meet people in the cell. Say, who are you? You're in your house. Who are? You? What's your name? And then I say, who in who invited you in my house? <laughs> and then you're there. Oh, me, me. I, I want a, I want a private. Listen to me. A, a true man of God, you have no privacy. They will enter your, your zone. They, cha. So if you're married to a woman who, oh, you know, we, we want our own space. My wife used to cry like that and say she became worse than me. <laughs> you have no space. Okay, let me show you from the Bible. Jesus was asked after coming from the fire thing, from baptizing. They said, we want to see where you sleep. Jesus said, come and see. Your own Jesus did not have a private life. They used to come to his house. You are Jesus. And now you, you want to separate. Listen to me. My wife and I, we have tried to separate people from our house. The thing does not work. The thing that, you leave the gate. You say, man of God, I'm here. Who are you? How did you even know I stay? This is my brother's location. I will not be here tomorrow. You try to look for avenues to make them forget this is where you stay. You leave that place. Now the problem is when you're moving, they will be not the ones to move. You know they are, they are good. They are wise people. They will tell the man of God, we want to carry your table. Ah, uh, they know you are a man of God. Man of God. <laughs> are you understanding what I'm teaching Let's leave that case because some of you here you don't like the truth. 
You, you want to hear that uh, a true marriage is me uh, and my wife. Listen to me. A man that marries a woman, you marry the clan. You marry the whole village. Leave that nonsense you like. We are old in this matter. We know what we are teaching you. 